All right. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the waggle today and why the waggle can be used to not only preview the shot you're about to hit, but can also teach you a little bit about how you should move weight in the swing. So I'm gonna just start off here by demonstrating what is an incorrect waggle, and I would like you to, to try this first so that you can get a sense that uh, it is incorrect and why it is incorrect and it won't feel very good to you. So when you waggle the club back, what I want you to do is to lift your left foot off the ground if you're a right-hander. So I'll just say that you lift your front foot off the ground as you waggle the club back. Now as you waggle the club forward, I want you to lift your right foot off the ground. And do that in, in that manner repeatedly. So left foot off as the club goes back, right foot off as the club goes forward. And this is waggling in the direction of the swing and actually feels very convoluted and very uh, stagnant. Instead, when you waggle, you should move in the opposite direction. So when the club, when the club moves back, your weight moves forward and vice versa. So when you waggle the club back, feel like your right foot comes off the ground. And then your front foot comes off the ground as the club comes forward. So that's an exaggeration there, just so you can see the weight moving in opposition. If we just bring that back down to where, instead of coming off the ground, I'm just merely pressuring one foot and another. So I'll just pressure my left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. And it's going in the opposite way to the club. So if that feels natural to do, and it actually feels very unnatural for me to move to the foot where the club's heading. So when the club's heading right, if I move to my right foot, this feels very unnatural. It feels very natural for me to go the other way. So as you're waggling the club back, you feel your weight going forward. Now, what that can teach you <coughs> in the full swing is that not that the weight's going to move to the left as the club goes back and to the right as the club comes down, just that it's not going to move in the direction of the club. This opposition that you feel in the waggle is really just what's going to keep you stable and balanced and in one position, a very um, centered position throughout your swing. So as the club's mass swings to our right, we work against that swing we don't want to go over too far to the other side, but we do want to work away from the club, so we are working to the left. Okay, now if you were to put some force plates uh, on the ground to test where my weight was shifting during the swing, my weight would still be shifting to the right and then shifting to the left. But that's coming from the swing of the club, not from me shifting my weight right and shifting my weight left. So this working in opposition that you can feel in the correct waggle as opposed to the incorrect waggle and walk is what we're going to put into the full swing. So I'll just demonstrate a couple of incorrect ways to shift weight in the swing. One is to overbalance in the correct direction and that would be this way and this way. It would be commonly referred to as a reverse pivot. But I think it's also equally incorrect to, to attempt to shift weight to the right and shift weight to the left, move in the direction of the swing. What I'd like you to do instead is to, in order to stay centered, when the club moves to the right, you're pressuring left, but only enough to maintain your structure and where you are in, in space. So we're not gonna try and move the body independently of the swing of the club. We're going to swing the club back and then just work against that club to stay nice and stable. So an exercise <clears throat> that I'd like you to try is one where you start out with this waggling in opposition with the walking. So club goes back, you go forward. Club goes forward, you go back. And then just build that up into a bigger movement and you can see that I'm basically matching the rhythm of the club with my feet as it gets to a longer swing, both sides of the ball, till eventually you can start to get a full swing. Okay? Now, 
what I want you to do now is to take take some full swings when you get to the end of the swing just return back and just keep swinging in this fashion what I want you to feel here is the swing of the club as your back swing is almost like a left-handed player's follow-through if you're right-handed like so it's a swing the back swing is a swing as opposed to carrying the club lifting it with our arms and hands or using the big muscles of the body to turn and position the golf club so <clears throat> just to recap the waggle is in opposition it feels natural and correct to waggle in opposition so don't make your golf swing one where you're moving in the direction of the club as it's swinging to the right and swinging to the left feel the opposition in the waggle and then put that opposition in your swing and I guarantee you'll find you'll get more consistent strike on the ball and a more consistent low point so I hope that's helpful in my next lesson I'm going to in this series I'm going to be talking about how to get that club swinging as though it's all one motion backswing and downswing feel like it's all one continuous motion it's fairly easy to feel in this manner here I'm not stopping at any stage it's fairly easy to feel that there I'm going to talk about in the next lesson how to get that feeling and that free swing from the relatively static position that I find myself in at address once I've completed my waggles. So I'm just going to demonstrate here a couple of different waggles and one is a I've got a seven iron I'm just going to hit a nice easy sort of three quarter shot so as I walk in begin my waggles they're very gentle as I said in opposition with the feet they're not aggressive waggles they're just nice and gentle and that's going to flow into the takeaway and into the entire swing so if I was going to hit a full seven iron now the waggle would be much stronger and I want to hit this hard just for the purposes of demonstration so instead of these nice easy waggles you'll notice a difference and what that difference is doing is getting my body ready by waggling in opposition ready for what's coming and what's coming is a more energetic swing so that's how we preview the shot with the waggle Okay, so I hope that's helpful to you and uh, I look forward to bringing you more in this uh, series of lessons. Cheers.